Hi guys, today we're going to take a look at where Hyenas minus two north spawn. This is one of the best places for low level paladins. Um, I recommend it from level 200 plus. You could theoretically start around level 150, uh, but I think it's a little bit too difficult. You know, if you're really good at the game, 150, you can start uh, in general. I feel safe recommending it for 200 plus because that big central room of about 20, 25 or hyenas is quite difficult. And also their familiar that you unlock at level 200 helps a lot with this respawn. Anyway, I think this is a pretty great respawn. So uh, let's take a look at some of the results. So, uh, looking at a couple of analyzers, on the left-hand side we have the results with a familiar and on the right-hand side we have the results without the familiar. Uh, averaging out, you can expect somewhere around 2kk raw experience at level 200, uh, which is about 3kk on 150%. This can scale a little bit higher, but I think the absolute peak you can get at in and North is around 2.3kk raw, around level 300. Uh, at that point, there's simply not enough respawn. Um, the loot you can get is somewhere around 200 to 300k per hour. The difficulty is a tough one for me because on average the difficulty is very easy actually. There's not that many hyenas at this respawn except for one room. There is that one central room at the start which is quite difficult because there's like over 20 of them there. So, you know, the difficulty for the whole respawn is like 2 out of 10 but then it's about 7 out of 10 for that one particular room. So just be careful when you go there. Don't overdo it. Don't just run in the middle and get one shot. Um, for bestiary, two hours for a hyena and about three hours for a hyena shaman. Uh, so requirements, obviously, like I mentioned, level 150 or 200, depending on your experience with the game. Uh, there is no access quest required, and this place can effectively be hunted by pretty much everybody. Uh, uh, but ultimately, it's mostly hunted by paladins only. Knight can hunt here when they unlock the first ice elemental weapon, whichever level that might be dependent on your skill choice. Um, yeah, duos and full team hunts can also hunt here, though that's usually reserved for uh, brand new worlds. Recommended imbuements is all standard imbuements, you know, the crit mana life. Uh, also, both the death and earth protection imbuements are very helpful. As you can see, it's about 32% death, 15% earth protection. So if you can get an imbuement going, um, that will make this respawn a lot easier. Personally, when I was hunting here, I didn't have it. I was just hunting with death florica, which probably isn't actually worse than a prismatic armor. I would probably go with prismatic armor in the future. Uh, but that Florica is is pretty good uh, alternative as well for a little bit of extra death protection. And another item to think about is Sleep Shawl. This is the amulet that gives you lots of uh, poison protection. Uh, it's from level 180 plus, I believe. However, it is expensive to use with the current prices of silver tokens. You're looking at about additional 100k per hour cost of the Sleep Shawl. Uh, you know, it's worth it if you're going to die. But if you can get away with it without using it, then probably, probably see if you can get away without using it because it's just quite expensive to use. Uh, supplies per hour, I use about 800 great minus per hour, a few ultimates, around 1200 diamond arrows and around 600 avalanches. Or charms, I recommend uh, in the optimal setup, divine wrap on where hyena and freeze on where hyena shaman. However, I know that at such a low level, you're unlikely to have both of these charms. If you only have freeze, then I would put that on the where hyena because there's a lot more of them. So it will actually have overall uh, you know, more benefit. However, if you have both Divine Wrap and Freeze, then put Divine Wrap on War Hyena and the Freeze on the Shamans. Uh, for the wheel, wouldn't worry about it at this point, not high enough level. And the character in the video is a level 214 RP with 222 distance skill and 26 magic level with loyalty and no praise and no charms active. Uh, so for the route, uh, I tried both clockwise and anti clockwise. Uh, I have found that. It's like 1% difference at most between the two of them. Uh, in the video, you will see me going counterclockwise, uh, but I will actually draw out the clockwise way for you. I think it's, it's just a tiny bit better, but really, honestly, it doesn't matter if you go clockwise or anti-clockwise, the results will be more or less the same. Uh, so we are starting here at the entrance to minus two, and basically we're doing a clockwise loop. Uh, in general, I will tr this is the big room that I was talking about. So in general, I try to split that one up into two separate poles, unless, you know, I'm like level 300, at level 300, you can do the whole room. But if you're like level 200, you probably want to split it in two. So you'll probably want to kill like a smaller loop pole somewhere here, and then another one somewhere around here. Otherwise, it might be just too overwhelming. Uh, then you continue go and you'll probably do a pull somewhere around here, kill a couple of monsters around the way here, go to this this way and kill a few monsters here. Um, at this point you'll go up one floor and it's plus one right here. 
uh, from the from the minus two level uh, you will come in here usually what i do is i'll go in here and do a pull somewhere around here from those little free free little legs of the map uh, at that point i will run up and do a pull and around here so i do two pulls on the level one plus from where i'm normally hunting uh, then i go back down and i go here do a big pull around here there's also quite a big pull then usually do another pull somewhere around here and go back to the start and do another pull here uh, and that's everything it's pretty simple pull um like i mentioned it peaks out about 2.3 kk raw around level 300 uh probably aim to have about 2kk raw around level 200 and yeah it's a pretty fun spot one of the best for this level range maybe only rivaled by lava lurkers uh and yeah so that's that's what i have for you today guys gonna do a quick shout out on my youtube members and then i will play the video so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one